top of mind for state lawmakers ahead of the legislative session ending tomorrow. This includes security for the systems we use to vote, as well as for elected officials. And tonight we have in-depth look at these bills and the work still ahead for lawmakers. So we begin with Denver 7's Patrick Perez and the story of a local clerk of courts protecting himself ahead of midterms. I never thought that it would escalate to this level. Even as Adams County clerk and recorder Josh Ziegelbaum sits in his office and talks with us, he's wearing a bulletproof vest. Did you ever imagine that when you stepped into this role, these are the type of measures that you would have to take? No, I didn't. When I left the Marine Corps, I thought that was the last time that I was going to be wearing body armor and hear him again. Ziegelbaum says increasing threats following the 2020 presidential election have forced him to improve security at his elections office in Brighton for himself and his staff. I think the worst one that we've received was somebody telling us that they would see us on a battlefield and they would walk away from it. Some of these improvements include a remodel, which when completed will offer better protection for his employees. I think January 6th was a good reminder that it can very easily go beyond just words. You repeat a lie, enough, people start to believe it. And I think that there was probably a coordinated effort at the very top and others just um, eventually felt that it was truth and, and began to follow. To combat this, a bill that's currently in the state legislature would prohibit election officials from spreading misinformation or accessing a room of voting equipment without an authorized escort. While this is something Ziggobaum has already implemented, he says the legislation is necessary. I do know a number of clerks out there who don't necessarily have the best interests of the community in mind. Ziggelbaum is up for re-election this November, and despite the conspiracy theories and threats, he's not backing down. Do you ever think, you know what, maybe I need to go do something else, this is not worth it? No, there isn't actually another job that I could imagine doing. I absolutely love what I do. In Brighton, Patrick Perez, Denver 7.